So glad y'all could be joining us again tonight. Uh, we're really excited. Can't wait to have you guys actually back at SOC. 
It's coming up real soon. Uh, don't forget about our pool party next week over at Jonathan's. I uh, hope to see each and every one of you there. Uh, just for a quick moment, I just want to ask would you join me in prayer, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we can gather and speak about your word. Lord, we pray that your spirit come upon us and help us give us a heart of understanding, a heart of joy to know that what you've done for us, and how you've created us to worship you and to love you. And Father, we ask that you give us those things. Give us the wisdom to do that. Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, that died for our sins. And we love you. Oh, do we just we just praise you for everything that you've done for us. And tonight, as we open our hearts and our minds, Lord, give us your understanding. It's your name we pray. Amen. So tonight, guys, uh, I want to talk to y'all a little bit of something about what's called a cornerstone. Now, it may be like an old term phrase that a lot of you may have heard before or you may have never heard it. But any time that you had a cornerstone, it was essentially set forth on a building and that building was built up from it. See, when people developed a cornerstone, your architecture engineers, they put it to precise and absolutely perfect measurements because this stone would bear the weight of the entire structure. And this stone would make the lines for which the structure went out and went up. And it by no means could it have any imperfection in it whatsoever. So tonight, I want to go just a little bit back to the old school and hit some Old Testament. Then we're going to hit some New Testament and understand how Jesus is our cornerstone. The first verse I'd like for us to go to is Isaiah 28, uh, verse 16. <clears throat> and the Lord said, Behold, I am the one who is laid as a foundation in Zion, a stone, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone of a sure foundation. And whoever believes will not be in haste. Guys, I want y'all to see and understand that long before Jesus physically came to this earth, God had already made the plans of what he was going to do. He had already established that Jesus was going to be our cornerstone. He had already made the perfect measurements of him. There was no imperfections in what he was going to be. He was going to bear the weight of our load, of the entire sin load of the world. And God had already put Jesus in place for that. Even since the beginning of our time, Jesus was prepared and ready. But I want you to see what God says about him also. That he is a tested stone and a precious stone. There's nothing that he couldn't have gone through that he would not stay solid through. There was so much value in Christ that God had placed in him that there was no other way, no other substitute that could hold up what Jesus was about to do. And so guys, I want us to realize that we've heard for so long about Jesus, but have we really established him as our cornerstone? Do we really put our lives to him? Do our hearts go up and out, established from where he's at? God's had him prepared since before we were even thought of in ourselves. But now we've got to understand that Christ truly is the cornerstone of our lives. And he is the one who bears our loads. And I want to go ahead and flip to uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, going through 22. Built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. Guys, I want y'all to see this. <clears throat> and there's something I want you to take from this verse. Each and every one of us who believe, each and every one of us who come and worship Jesus as our Savior, have to understand that with him as our cornerstone, 
We are the temple. We are the ones when we put ourselves to him, our hearts go to him, our lives go to him. We are joined to him. And we increase God's temple. We are the we are the building part of the wall that comes up and that goes out. And I, lo- I know some of you have uh, been watching some of the sermons online and some of you have even been church the past couple of Sundays. And we've been talking about a disciple shift. When we see right here that we're established and built with Christ as our cornerstone, we want to go and disciple others. We want to bring them into the temple of God. We are all of the same spirit where God wants to dwell when we establish Christ as our foundation. Guys, it's so important that we see that we don't just hold him for ourselves. He is our cornerstone. He is the foundation that we come from. And in our hearts, so truly in our hearts, we should be more than welcoming to have others come and find him to see. You are the temple. You are the witness. Christ is your cornerstone. Guys, ladies, establish this. Everything that you may have tried to do out on your own, I'm pretty sure has come to a crumble. But Christ has been prepared since the beginning of time. Why would we go anywhere else? Why would we build our build ourselves upon anything else the apostles the prophets every uh, person that was brought to Christ through their heart that God prepared for them he is the one and true cornerstone why should we go anywhere else we have everything that we need to go up and out in our lives And I want you guys to see and understand that this is you, for you. This is about you. This is to turn your life around and make it see that you can go up and out and you can bring others in. That glorifies God. And into the last part of 22, it says you are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. Guys, I want you to see and understand this. God's Spirit dwells inside of each and every one of you. Your body is a temple. You are a walking temple of God. And when we all join together, we form the sanctuary where God is, where His Spirit is. And when we worship Him, He hears it and He knows it. Don't forget the important role that you play when Christ is the foundation of your life and how you form the cornerstone. Briefly, I want to insert this verse, John 14, 23. And Jesus even said to himself, if you really love me and obey my commandments, if you really love me and obey my commandments, my Father will love you and we will come to dwell with you. Jesus said it himself because that's what he wanted. He wanted that relationship with you with each of us, every one of us. And he wouldn't have established himself where he's at if he didn't. And finally, I want to visit Revelation 3, verse 12. And it says, To the one who conquers, I will make them a pillar in the temple of my God. Never shall they go out of it, And I will write on the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down from heaven, and my own new name. I want to bring this to your attention to see. I know sometimes it's hard. Life's tough. Things get in the way. We get busy. We get occupied with things. And we don't always see that we're really leaning on Christ. But when we do, we have to see and understand that when we overcome through Jesus being our foundation, as our real true cornerstone, that we are set forever in the house of God. We're never to be moved. We're never to be taken out. 
because our cornerstone has never been moved. Our cornerstone has never been broken. It's always been there for us. And we will always be with him. So, I want you guys to see. When you establish Jesus Christ in your life, don't stop relying on him. Don't stop throwing your weight to him. Let him carry your load and do his work. Build up and out. Make other disciples. Make the temple of God that much greater because you have the cornerstone that makes you so much stronger than what the world has to offer. Guys, thank you all so much. Hope to see you again next week. And uh, just like to close you out in prayer real quick. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus being our cornerstone and that we can build our hearts and our lives from him. Father, we just praise you that you gave him to us and that you prepared him long before we knew what we needed. Lord, we just thank you that your spirit dwells with us. And we pray, Father, that as we meet again in person, that we know it's for you and that we are your temple and we are just ready to worship and love you for everything that you do. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.